Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Demarcus. Hey, Alexis. Uh, I'm having to um, get up early to be prepared for the services this evening. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know if um, we all had noticed my post that I made a couple of hours ago, but uh, <sighs> just with heavy heart and hurting feet, I have to, it brings me to this live. That my favorite black Pocahontas boot has taken their last step. And having a very small, intimate uh, memorial this evening. Only close friends and family. So, I'm preparing a little meal for the repast. Uh, I'm gonna be strong. I do have other colors mm -hmm. uh, of those boots. It's just that mm -hmm. oh. the black one is just my favorite. Honey, if I tell you me and them black boots, we've been through some. <sighs> Oh, yeah, uh, I'm um, up early, you know, writing the uh, the uh, bulogy as well. So uh, I'm gonna do a a live viewing this evening as well around seven thirty. Now just uh, play my screen, play my screen, because uh, this is harder than I thought, you know, it's a lot harder than I thought, this is, it's heavy, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I knew, I knew months ago that these boots had really seen better days. But still nothing prepares you for that last step. You know, um, Anna Marie, my, I made a post earlier. My favorite black boots has taken a last step. And um, I'm gonna have a service because it's only right, you know. Um,
those boots, man, y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't understand until you have walked in some uncomfortable boots. You will never feel my pain. Until you have had boots to hold you up when you felt that you were at your lowest, you won't understand. But I can't stay before you alone today because I'm, I'm, I'm having to, you know, get ready for this evening. And uh, get the food ready for the repast. Like I said, it's only real close friends and family that had a connection with those boots can come by. So, you know, thank you so much, uh, Angie Pants. I appreciate it. They are lying at state all day today, you know. I may give y'all a sneak peek um, earlier, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I am strong enough to keep viewing them, knowing that Y'all don't know what them boots, I mean, anybody that have seen me on a regular, they know what the boots meant to me. I have put those boots on with a formal gown. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And, uh, you know, they gone. I mean, they are gone. <laughs> I kept resuscitating them and uh, shocking them back to life, but, uh, Toddy went behind my back and um, filed for um, she filed for DNR and I had no idea I, I had some tools that I was going to bring them back but uh, <laughs> Dixon I apologize but uh, that I, you know, had you upsetter than you should have been, but I just can't believe that Toddy would do this to me either. How could she? <clears throat> she know I had some tools that I could have used to break them back, you know, but, um, Hey, James Evans, uh, I wish you were in town to sing at the services mm -hmm. this evening of, as we lay my boots to rest, you know. Um, but Toddy went behind my back with her father and uh, got power of attorney and filed a, a do not resuscitate. So I'm not even, I, I wasn't able to even attempt to bring them back, you know, as I know that I could have, because I've brought them back a many times, a many, a many and a plenty. But, you know, um, I did make a post about it earlier, so y'all please go and share my post so that people can join me for the services about 7.38 this evening. But I'm not going, like I say, be able to stay on here right now real long because I have to get these. I'm doing just, you know, typical repast food. I'm going to barbecue some ribs in the oven because it's hella cold outside. And my husband said he have done his last cold cooking for me as he fried that chicken and fish outdoors last, last week or a couple days ago. Friday night, actually. So he will not, will not put these ribs uh, on the grill for me. But um, 
got to do what you got to do. You know, when you have something so dear to you, you have got to go ahead and you got to put them away in style and in high fashion, you know. So I just wanted to, like I say, just jump on and let everyone know why you may not be seeing the black Pocahontas boots any any longer. So, and I know none of y'all are disappointed that you won't see them again. But um, I'm going to get through this. I am. For those of you just joining, I, I did make a post earlier uh, about the passing of my Pocahontas boots. And um, they took their last step uh, yesterday uh, around um, 1.18 p.m. So they were taking off life support about 1.18, but they didn't take their final step until about 2.33. They were strong. They were strong. They fought. They fought. But they gone. And like I say, although I have some tools that I'm sure I could have resuscitated them mm -hmm. one more time. Toddy uh, went behind my back with her father and filed for power of attorney and uh, uh, filed a, a, a DNR, do not resuscitate, so I'm not able to uh, bring them back. So, yes, uh, Tobias, inbox me an address, baby. I'll send you some magic dust. And although you, you know, think that magic dust is magical and brings life to anything, they didn't bring them boots back. I was in the process of bodily magic dust, and it did get a little bit sprinkled on them yesterday, but they did not come back. So, um, Evelyn, oh my God, I'm so sad you did not get to meet them either. I have many more in different colors, but them black ones, they went with everything, so they just was near and dear to my heart. So, um, they didn't make it. And yesterday morning, when I got up and put them on, I promise y'all, I promise, I had an instinct, something in my gut told me it was going to be a final farewell if I wore them out in this weather. I did it anyway. I did it. And you got to follow your first mind. Had I uh, uh, just followed my first mind, I probably could have made it to March, but mm -mm. I was stubborn. I wanted them to be on me yesterday, so I, I say forget the first mind and the gut instinct. I know everything has a season, Evelyn. Thank you, thank you so much. Hey, Rosalind, uh, you know those old favorite uh, black Pocahontas boots that y'all see me in, even in the summer. See, I have very, very wide feet, and those boots, they just cuddled my feet so perfectly. Uh, 
I'm going to get through this, though. I am going to get through this. I've got another pair of black ones. And shit, I just got them. They already on hospice because they were knockoffs to some just fab cheap boots to begin with. And I got them out of China. And um, they just weren't built to last like Pocahontas boots were. So um, the repast will be this evening. About 7, 30, 8 o'clock, I'm going to jump off and get the ribs and food ready. So Jackie, it's hard, though. It's hard. It's hard. The boots are gone. <laughs> <laughs> You saw them when they took their last step, didn't you? You was with me. <laughs> it's good to have a friend around that can make you laugh in these times. So, this is my goddaughter, Ebony. She is the owner of Sugar Pie Honey Buns in South Carolina. And uh, amazing, amazing caterer. And, She's going to have to fly out. She won't even be here for the repast. She's returning home because she had no idea that the boots weren't going to make it. Mm-hmm. Had you known you could stay till Monday, till, till Monday. To the barrier, <laughs> to the barrier, to the barrier. To the barrier. You want to see them go? No, uh, no. Okay, okay. I'm here for comfort. I'll okay. Stay for comfort uh, of the family. Okay, okay, you know okay. What I mean? Thank you, thank yeah. you. So I'm going to jump off uh, and go ahead and get... My look, repast food ready. Uh, where are you located in South Carolina? Greenville, but I, I um, so no. I, I'm located in Greenville, South Carolina. But if you live in the state of North Carolina, South Carolina, or Georgia, uh, and Tennessee, www.sugarpiehoneybun.com. There's no R in sugar. It's sugar like your mama made. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Um, hey, Crystal. Hey, Keisha. Uh, Tobias, thank you so much. Um, I know people think I need a reality show, and I mean, I'll be sharing real life issues with you guys. But, um, yeah, I do need a, a show because I'll keep it real with y'all. But I'm going to jump off and get this little food ready. Uh, and, uh, hey, Lisa, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, get the food ready for the repast and try to see what I can wear this evening with some alternate boots. So thank y'all for, you know, coming on. And go read my post about the boots as I continue to hold up for my family today. Thank y'all for joining me. And I'll see y'all later, y'all. Please, please, please tune in about 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Um, for the memorial and the bulgy of these boots. I'll see y'all soon. Hopefully, some of y'all can come by the repast and show your uh, boot spec. Okay? All right. Thank you, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.